Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom, I'm Cade. A woman was handed $10 million from Crypto.com by accident after she requested a refund for $100. They transferred her $10 million and for seven months, this lady was living lavishly. But before we get into it, you're gonna wanna be subscribed to have more content coming out every single day. Smash a like in this video, lock that shit in fam. If you're not following me on Twitter, if you're not on my Discord down below the description, you are only hurting yourself. Let's get into the video. Red Joyous Kingdom hats. They'll be for sale soon. Same with the shirt and the Joyous Kingdom logo shirt. That'll also be live. That'll be coming in the next few weeks. So keep your eye out for that. That'll be on my Twitter. You guys have been hounding me to start selling Joyous Kingdom clothes because I wear them all the time. And I think it's I think it's about that time. So crypto.com lawsuit against Manavel, the lady. Reports have revealed that both Manavel and her sister are being sued by crypto.com for $10.5 million. The case was filed in the Victorian Supreme Court and its commercial division heard the case back in May. So she did not report the mishap and went on to spend the money. She purchased a luxury five bedroom, home, with a home gym inside and a cinema inside. And you might be asking why is her sister involved? Because in the meantime, Manavel for the past seven months has been moving some of her $10 million in funds when she sent $430,000 to her daughter and then transferred the house that she bought. And the crazy part is they did an audit seven months after they gave, they gave her the $10 million and that's the only time they realized, oh shit, we're down to $10 million. Where did it go? And then they were like, oh shit, we just gave this girl $10 million for the past seven months. We have someone saying one time I sent $300 to the wrong crypto.com deposit address and the support told me to check them out and address before saying next time tough luck oh how the tables have turned yeah i mean the difference is here companies can do whatever the fuck they want apparently in this country so yeah they're able to get their money back in super 10 million dollars but if i sent money to the wrong account on a coinbase or voyager 90 percent of the time it's just like ah well i can't do anything for you fam sorry so this is funny what would you do if 10.5 million dollars suddenly appeared in your bank account would you return it to your sender buy tons of ego tokens convert it to cash or move to mexico apparently to this toll 34% said return it back to their sender, 29% buy a ton of these ego tokens, whatever ego is, convert it to cash, 19%, and move to Mexico, 18%. If this was me, I'm probably going convert to cash and move to Mexico, or like somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere, like, that'd be lit. Probably buy another identity, like do some black market stuff, and really, really try and disappear. $10 million, like, I, yeah, I'd disappear for 10 million bucks. <laughs> I thought it was an airdrop. That's the best tweet I've ever seen right there, airdrops, man. Who remembers? Uh, what was it? Coin Dow, I think we had. Uh, looks rare token drops. Yeah, I made I made thousands of dollars in those airdrops. We need if MetaMask and OpenSea drop a coin. Oh my God, it would be legendary. You'd make so much money if it was based on like gas fees and stuff. Oh God, please do an airdrop, MetaMask. Please do an airdrop. And this is something I just want to bring up from Chronos Research. They're basically saying that this story actually was uh, first mentioned back in February, but people are bringing it up now because of a decision that was made within the courts, right? Uh, but it's just important to remember that when you hear a headline or see a headline or you hear something in the grapevine, not to just just jump to conclusions if you plan on making a financial decision because of that situation you want to make sure you know all the details so whatever you do make sure you read multiple articles that way you can kind of test out what the bullshit is what's not the bullshit where's the bias where's not the bias and get like a real feel for the situation maybe listen to a couple youtubers videos they broke it down just to get a few different opinions before you go running to conclusions anyways fam that's the end of this video let me know what you guys are thinking about for the eth merge i'm not really changing anything i'm, I'm just second cash i'm not even messing with anything in, in the recession yet at some point i will start to dollar cost my way into the market but right now i'm just chilling i'm just making videos i'm just focusing on content right now so let me know what you guys are up to if you made it to the very end code word comment down below 10 million baby manifest that 10 million dollar bank account you never know you never know someone could send you 10 million dollars like that's not a joke people that happened anyways make sure you follow me on twitter make sure you're in my discord down below in the description if you want to see more of me right now click on one of these boxes on their side me until next time continue on your joy age continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video